Hey everyone, we're here today to do an install of a lighted speaker kit in a Spike 2 game. This is a Star Wars that I'm doing it in right now. And in the kit, you know, you get the usual uh, items that you usually get in a, a lighted speaker kit. But he produced a new bracket now for the lighted speakers for uh, a Spike 2 game. And it's like this square type of mount now with LEDs that run around the sides. Of the of the actual kit and there's one side that you have to you have to do these the proper way to install them there's holes on one side here if you could, you know and then the bracket and that actually screws into the color display here so you kind of have to mount the kit there's a, um, a top and a bottom to this kit so I believe they go up like that and there it's like sunken in on this side and that's the way it goes and one of the sides is magnetic so the actual LEDs come off the metal bracket I think it's this side so you could screw in the screws to the display the color display so what you need to do to put this bracket in and again the mount the the connector here goes down so it would be coming off of the bottom corner here I already did the other side on the um, the kit but the actual mount or the or I'm sorry the uh, the connector goes at the the bottom or the top I guess of the display however you're looking at it so we'll just leave that on the side so to start what we need to do is take off these four screws that hold the speaker panel in right now so on the other side in his instructions he puts don't over tighten he has these nylon screws or these brackets or like risers kinda and they look like this they come with the kit, eight of them. Should really include a couple extras in case you crack one. Um, and because I cracked one. <laughs> this is how they look. This is the one that I cracked. So I have to run with three on this side. So that's, hopefully it'll hold. But hand tighten them like this. If you want to snug them down with the, uh, the actual uh, hex or the uh, socket wrench, be really careful when you're doing it. He puts that in the instructions and he's right. Like just be careful when you're uh, when you're sucking them down. So we're just taking these four screws off or nuts off the speaker panel right now. Okay, so the four nuts are off. And now what you want to do is get a smaller screwdriver and there's two screws on the side here of your metal uh, bracket that hold your speaker in on the stock stern um, speaker holder here. And you need a Phillips, small Phillips head to take out the uh, the two screws that hold the uh, color display in place and whoever tightened these down did a nice job tightening them down so you know don't strip out the screw give it a lot of a lot of pressure to try to get in there and take that screw out So again, these screws are in pretty tight. Okay, so those two screws are out. And then what you wanna do is just lift this out, put it on the side over here. Now there's a, a piece of foam under here. You wanna maybe take that out to get the, the uh, more of the, the LED display to come through. So again, the connector goes to the bottom or top of the, if the door is shut, it would be towards the top of the display. So there's four holes that you gotta align with 
the mount and put it in that way and then you take your nylon um, extenders that came with the kit and then you screw them into the studs that are coming through the actual um, display panel you know be careful with these LEDs too don't don't really like manhandle them or nothing like that just kind of be easy with them when you're trying to you know get your your stuff in order here so again I only have three to put on in the kit there should be a couple extras included in case one is broken or one you know when somebody cracks one I don't really know where to go and just go get one of these uh, studs I would and maybe Home Depot or Lowe's carries them I don't know but I know I don't really have any on hand right now so it's not really helping me right now so I'll leave it like that for now and then what you want to do is take your speaker panel and align it with the studs on the on the speaker panel that you just put in and they kind of like lock in they kind of there's like a, a longer like a more of an opening on one side and you slide it and it kind of like locks in so it, you kind of just push it and then put your washers back on Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to screw in the uh, the two screws again for the uh, the color DMD here, or the display color display. So you remove your magnet magnet side from that, and then take your screws again and line up your holes with the display. Magnetic screwdriver would help out in this uh, instance right now because these screws are kind of small. So that's one screw. And here's the second screw that we're going to screw in for the display panel. And these things could be a pain in the neck to screw in. Again, if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, it could be a pain. I don't. My some of my screwdrivers are magnetic. I don't believe this one is. It's, and they're small. And only do one panel at a time. Don't do. Uh, don't take both panels out because this display will move all over the place and actually could fall down. So, uh, that's not right. Okay, so now both screws are screwed in for the panel. Just take your magnetic strip again and put it, you know, back on the metal side of the uh, bracket so it stays like that so now you got your uh, your your extenders here and you have your panel screwed in and you have your um, LED back magnetic magnetically clinging to the side of the metal again so now you take your speaker panel lock it in because it kind of slides and now take your nuts again of your of what you took off previously and then just you know put everything down remember to put your uh, pulley back on you know your thing so it kind of grabs the, the panel let me put this washer down first. Um, so again, just hand tighten these nuts. Don't uh, don't overly tighten them because again, you could crack them. You crack the studs. That is. And then you want to do this one last. 
or first or just to get the panel in. We have that. That on. You got to put the speaker, the piece of plastic here that holds the speak the wire for the speaker that went on the top here on the top uh, nut. My arm's probably in the way. And that's really it. So. Next, what you want to do is take your wires that are here, you know, from the from the speakers, and take the rest of your kit of what you have. And then it comes with this as well. And if anybody's bought the speaker kit before, you kind of know what this does and it basically goes one is the IR uh, thing for the remote which is this one so you got to put it in your that in your back box behind your translate so then you have two of these um, and these plug into the two connectors here and there's an arrow on each connector of what it's got to plug into the correct way so we'll just grab the male to male so it's got to be this one because the two arrows line up. Again, you may want to put a piece of tape or something on those connectors. Sometimes they pop off unexpectedly. Uh, again, and then we just take the two arrows here and I could get the pins inside each other. that okay so now they're connected and then you just want to take this and place it somewhere inside your back box um, and there's a power uh, connector on that box and then it comes with another connector inside the kit like this this runs to the front of your cabinet to the left side where the little board is on the butt under your flipper so what you want to do is just take this Connect it to that box like that and then take your IR thing here and just put it somewhere uh, you can put it like this here on this side I would hope there's enough wire and then drop this cable that comes off the power box for the uh, the speaker kit down the hole in your back box here on the left hand side to the cabinet and then we're going to run that to the front of the cabinet okay so I ran the cable to the front of the cabinet and now in the kit it comes with this kind of connector here and it's a um, trying to wait for the camera to get in focus um, it's a connector that goes from the board to the cable so it looks something like that so this goes into DBN 9 which is over here and there's another name I think it's like D DBA or something like that I believe it is as well so basically the one end could only go one way into the um, into the connector so it's notched so I believe it goes this way like that and then the other end plugs into the cable that I ran to the front of the uh, the pinball machine which is here and that's what comes from the power supply that we we ran in the back of the uh, into the uh, back box into that little uh, plug that has the IR connector to it. 
So you just plug those two in like that. And I kind of ran them through the uh, wire ties, the wire management system inside the cabinet so everything's out of, uh, you know, out of harm's way of getting snagged on anything or anything like that. So just kind of tucking on the side here. I'm trying to find the opening of the connector, which is on the other side. And that's that. So that's really it with the install. You know, you want to do it to the other side of the speaker, but I already did mine. But it's you just kind of follow the same pattern for each side. So um, let's go and take a look at the speakers and see how they look. Okay, so here we are with the kit installed and the speakers lit, uh, lighted up. So you can see it's kind of going into its demo mode with all the colors that are available for the speakers. Um, I took the actual, like the grills out. I guess you could leave them in if you wanted to, but I kind of like the look without them out. It looks pretty cool. It looks a little more like, you know, like like rough, you know, without the, the grills inside, the little foam pieces. So I'm gonna change mine to blue. So, you know, it comes with the, the actual, uh, to, to change the colors of your grills you know, it has the uh, the remote that comes with all the kits, even in the older uh, the older kits. And you know, you could hit the button for like yellow, and it changed it to yellow, orange. You know, and all the different colors. So I'm gonna change it to blue because it kind of matches everything else in the cabinet. Um, but you know, you could change, you could do different things with this different remote. But I always leave it a solid color and. You know, make make it look pretty uh, pretty static with color. You know, just so it matches the cabinet, all that other stuff. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it was a pretty easy install. Um, the standoffs, like the instructions say, don't over tighten them because you will crack them, like I did. I cracked the one, and just uh, you know, if if the speaker panel, lighted speaker panel people are watching the video, you know, in the future, maybe you might want to send a couple other standoffs or stand you know the the extenders out to people in case they crack theirs because they're really easy to crack so just a word to the wise just hand tighten them don't don't over tighten so and i didn't think i over tightened but maybe i did so but that's it they look great like usual he does a nice job with the speaker i have a lot of them in my machines here at home my friend ed has them like every one of his machines so you know between the both of us we buy a lot of these kits so Again, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching all my videos and having all the subscribers to my channel. Uh, you can see everything at www.pinballsupernova.com. From there, you can see my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my blog, and my website, and everything else. So, again, I appreciate the follows, appreciate the emails, appreciate all the questions that people ask, and see you at the next video. Thanks.